Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 38, the last week of the Premier League season. Um, obviously before I get started a couple of things to update you on. The top four does look done, I'll get more into that in this video. And also the three relegation clubs have been confirmed and they are Cardiff, Fulham and Huddersfield. Um, obviously sometime next week there will be my Premier League table prediction revealed where we go through all the tables that I predicted to see how many I've got right. Um, but anyway guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first cow I'll kick off with on I can tell it behind me already is Spurs versus Everton. Spurs look like in the top four um, even though they lost this weekend to Bournemouth, um, Brighton straw to Arsenal does look like that way we confirm the top spot, uh, top four spot, sorry. Um, the only way Arsenal could do it now is by an eight goal deficit and Arsenal have to win their game. Um, Everton on the other hand ain't got really nothing to fight for, but... I can actually see Everton getting something out of this game. Considering Spurs ain't really got nothing to fight for a point, we'll actually see them in the Champions League places as well. I'm going to call this game a draw, and I'm going to call it a one all scoreline for that one. The next one is Manchester United versus Cardiff. Um, before I get on to this game, guys, there is a new series on my channel called uh, Premier League potential transfers, it goes through where every Premier League club has a story um, and I'll go through about that certain player so make sure you, you check that out as well. Um, I'll leave the playlist for that episode, for that series down below as well. Um, back to this game anyway, <laughs> Man United versus Cardiff. Um, Cardiff ain't got nothing to fight for uh, after losing to Crystal Palace 3-2. What a tight game that was. Um, I'm thinking Cardiff might deserve something out like of that. But, um, you know, it's... Did Cardiff really do enough throughout the season as well? Um, I know before a lot of your Cardiff fans going, we've had upside goals against us, we've had this, we've had that. I do know, and I do know that, if Emilio Alessada, um, did, uh, you know, got back to Cardiff successfully, and what happened didn't happen, Cardiff might be looking at a different story altogether. Um, so, in one way, I do feel deeply sorry for Cardiff, um, but I've got a funny feeling Cardiff will be on the straight back up uh, in the championship. I don't think they're going to struggle down there. I think they come straight back up and then have another go in the Premier League. Man United, on the other hand, uh, fighting for the top four finish this weekend as well. Uh, drawing one all with Huddersfield. So with this one, this game ain't got real no key importance either. So I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. I don't expect any teams to put up a fight. If I do, if I called it the other way, it'd probably be a Cardiff win. Um, the next one is Leicester versus Chelsea. Leicester, Chelsea in the top four, uh, which is confirmed after yet again. Brighton drawing with Arsenal. Um, Leicester did lose to City uh, this weekend. I do feel slightly uh, sorry for Leicester, but Vincent Company was a great goal. You couldn't deny him that. Um, as far as this game goes, I'm going to call it a 3 0 Chelsea win. The next one is Crystal Palace versus Bournemouth. Um, now, as I said, Crystal Palace ain't got nothing to fight for. Bournemouth ain't got nothing to fight for. 
Um, Palace did keep their rivals brighten up, as I mentioned a bit earlier, uh, with that Cardiff uh, win, the win over Cardiff. So, with this one, uh, I'm going to call it a draw, and I'm going to call it a one-all scoreline for that one. The next one is Burnley versus Arsenal. Now Burnley, uh, now, ah, now Arsenal do have to win this game to either be in a slight chance of uh, getting in the top four, but it does have to be by an eight goal deficit. Can't see it happening. Arsenal's had a, a really bad away record this season. So I'm going to give it to Burnley and I'm going to give it a 2 1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Watford versus West Ham. Now, Chelsea did beat Watford this weekend to confirm the top four. Um, so, you know, and Watford does finish their season off at home, which obviously a lot of the other clubs that are away this weekend did finish at home last, uh, this weekend just gone. So... Um, but West Ham are doing ever so brilliantly this season. I definitely think they will be in the fight for Europe next season. But as we roughly know, every season is different for every club. I mean, you look at Brighton, for example, 15th, didn't struggle to stay up this season. They've done it by the skin of their teeth. Um, so with this one, I'm going to stick up my dark horses one last time. And I'm going to give them a 2-1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Fulham versus Newcastle. Scott Parker's done an amazing job at Fulham. Um, I think he deserves a full-time job. Uh, both clubs, yet again, ain't got nothing to fight for, really. The only thing that clubs might have something to fight for is places in the table, which means more money for their clubs. So... But with this one, I'm going to give it to Newcastle, and I'm going to give it a 3-0 scoreline for that one. The next one is Southampton versus Huddersfield. Huddersfield drawing with United, as I mentioned earlier in this video. And there is a slight chance that Brighton can catch Southampton uh, to go into 16th place. So Southampton does need to win this one to keep that money spot and stop Brighton getting anywhere near it so with this one I'm going to give it to Southampton and I'm going to give it a 3-0 Southampton win now here's the predictions you've all been waiting for the top two um, teams and we're going to start off with Liverpool versus Wolves um, Liverpool have had a brilliant season I ain't got to deny nothing of Liverpool They've teared this table apart, especially from the rest of the, the pack. Um, you know, it obviously it's going down to the last game of the season. Um, you know, no, I got no heart, uh, no, no reason to dangle their head down. Um, going up against a very good ball side who's finishing in seventh place, I do believe, and in Europe um, or just outside Europe. I'm not 100% sure on separate place. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, Wolves have had a brilliant season as well. I know I'll probably predict them to finish much lower down the table. Fair play to Wolves. Um, we'll definitely be seeing you in the Premier League next season. You know, and as I said, every season is different. So, I ain't counting that I will do the same again next season. But, yet yeah, again, we have to wait and see and see what business they do in the summer. Um, as far as the, the result goes, I'm going to give it a Liverpool win, and I'm going to give it a 2-1 Liverpool win. Now, the 10th game of this week, and as I've just said, it's the top two, so the only one I've got to do is Brighton versus Manchester City. Brighton have confirmed safety thanks to that Palace win this weekend. They did get a point against Arsenal, which means if Cardiff did get a point against Palace, um, and then obviously the Brighton result went the Brighton result went the way it did, then Brighton would be safe anyway, because it'd still be four points. 
Um, going up against a very good Manchester City side. I've said a lot about company's goal already. What a brilliant screamer that was. Um, but I've actually got a funny feeling in my water about this one. Now, I know a lot of you are probably going to laugh and go, yeah, it's never going to happen. Which you're, which you're allowed to, obviously. You're allowed your opinion the same as I'm allowed mine. Um, but I'm going to call this one a draw. And I'm going to call this one a one all draw. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I believe in that. Which, in this case, which means Liverpool will lift the title at Anfield. Um, so, you know, uh, and that's why I've gone for that scoreline as well with Brighton. And don't forget, Brighton's just drawn their last two games against Newcastle and Arsenal. Uh, I know Newcastle was maybe a bit expected, but I don't think anyone was expected Bright to pick up a point at Arsenal. So, that's why I've gone with that scoreline. Um, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Chef now.